Crying is just something that babies do. While picking up an infant is often enough to calm them, sometimes they just keep crying and crying. In 2013, Beacon researchers found that mammal infants become quiet and docile when they are carried by their parents. It is often an emergency that forces animal parents to carry their infants. Thus, the infants cooperate with their parents by withholding their cries and movements. However, the researchers found that infants resumed crying soon after their short bout of carrying. It was also unclear whether the carrying was more effective than other actions. I have raised four children, and I have performed these experiments. But even I couldn't foresee the key results of this study until the statistical data came out. Because infant physiology is unexpectedly complex, and our intuition is very limited. That is why we need science. In the current study, Researchers tested the effects of four different maternal behaviors on crying infants. Carrying the infant while walking, holding it while seated, placing it in a cot, and moving it in a mobile cot. Crying decreased when infants were transported, either by carrying or on a mobile cot, but not when they were held. Next, the researchers looked at the effects of carrying infants for five minutes. This eight-week-old baby was initially crying. However, once the mother began walking, the baby stopped crying and fell asleep after about two minutes. After five minutes of being carried, 46% of infants were asleep, and an additional 18% fell asleep within one minute from the end of the walk. Thus. Walking with a crying infant not only soothes its cries, but also helps it fall asleep. But getting the baby to sleep is not the end of the story. About one-third of sleeping infants woke up as soon as they were placed in their bed. To examine the physiological conditions of the infants, the researchers monitored their heart rates using an electrocardiogram. The heart rate reflects autonomic activity. When babies are asleep, they have a slow heartbeat, and it gets faster when they are startled or begin to cry. These measurements showed that the infants are alerted most significantly when they are detached from the mother's body, not when their back touches the bed. It was also found that if the infants stayed asleep after being laid down, their heartbeats became slower than while they were being carried. This means that sleeping babies can rest better in a bed than in their parents' arms. There is a dilemma, however. Placing the sleeping babies down on the bed may wake them up. So what can parents do? The speed at which they were laid down or the order in which their body parts landed on the bed didn't affect the success of putting them to sleep. The researchers found that the duration of the infant's sleep before being laid down was about eight minutes in successful cases and about three minutes in unsuccessful ones. This finding is consistent with sleep research that shows that an infant's initial shallow sleep stabilizes after several minutes. Taken together, the present study proposes a method for soothing a crying baby. Carrying it for five minutes, then sitting down and waiting for another five to eight minutes to facilitate its sleep. Extending this line of research could shed new light on the complex physiology of infants and could help support parents and caregivers through science-based parenting practices. The method we suggest is cost-free and within the range of normal parenting so that parents can try it anytime. We are now working to develop a baby tech wearable device that can provide feedback on the infant physiological state in a real-time manner to reduce parental stress from infant crying and sleep problems.